I'm sorry, man. That's nuts. That's nuts. That's nuts. That's insane. Like he he's saying it. Like he's openly saying it. I'm saying it. All right, let's watch the heated debate between Cornell West and Alan Dershowitz over Israel Hamas we'll check war. Check back in with him throughout the evening time. First, left wing bigotry, anti semitism running rampant on university campuses. Dude. There is nothing sillier, nothing sillier than talking about uh, what is going on in the world from the framework of like university campuses being bigoted or whatever the fuck. I'm sorry. This is this is simply a method to derail the conversation. This is simply a a, a successful way to just like talk about some of the most like individualist, selfish. Like there is nothing more selfish then looking at a situation where like a, a a heavily militarized nation with our fucking dollars and our weapons is like destroying the most dense open air prison on the fucking planet that they've cut off the water food and 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 electricity to and then we're like ooh what does this say about fucking college campuses in America uh, who who where you know a dumbass American college kids are like taking either side of this conflict or some shit it's it's so stupid. I fucking hate it so much. I hate Americans so much. We are disgusting pigs. We are so disgusting in the way that we we contextualize everything from our own individual selfish needs. It is so obvious to me that it is so obvious to me that like we do not give a fuck. This is the same instance. It's the same energy that like a lot of people in, uh, engage with the news with when they go, oh, did you hear what this YouTuber said about this fucking thing about Israel? Did you hear what this YouTuber said about this thing about uh, Palestine? It's just like you cannot contextualize good things and bad things on their own. So you have to, uh, you have to do a secondary battle on, on fronts that you are more familiar with. This is familiar territory, okay? And then we have fucking leftists who do this shit. Please stop calling it a prison. They're not convicted of a crime. It's a concentration crime. I hate this idiotic language policing. This is no different than the other side of the language policing where they say, technically, it's not a prison. How can you say that? People can leave in and out. Yeah, let me call it a fucking concentration camp so that people can say, well, concentration camp has, uh, camps have guards. It's actually technically not a concentration camp, and you're being anti-Semitic for calling it a concentration camp. Who gives a fuck what it's called? Okay, stop. Do you think that it was a, the invention of Hasbara trolls that fucking started calling Gaza an open air prison? Do you think it was, or do you think it was the Gazans themselves that call it? Okay, do you find this to be a, a, a reasonable conversation to have right now? Do you think that like when I say it's the world's largest open air prison, people go, and yeah, that's because Palestinians deserve to be in prison. Is that what you think people are thinking? Do you think that this idea was invoked by the Israelis themselves? Okay. Or do you think that this was what Palestinians called their conditions? And it's perfectly understandable to call it that way. It's not that big of a deal. Fuck. Okay. Well then stop fucking chirping at me over it. You're not the only one who's been doing it, by the way. Anybody that adds that person and gets mad at them uh, is, is also silly. Okay. Don't get mad. Don't. Dude said it twice. Not that big of a deal. Oh, okay. Megaphonics. Mr. Fucking I spam eight times. Is that what you're trying to say? All right, let's watch Around this. the world. London. Australia. What's happening? Chanting in Australia, you know, about gas chambers. Uh, and, you know. Like, this is, this is, this is such a silly fucking frame. Okay. It's such a silly way to refuse to address the main problem at hand when we move away from the actual issue at hand israel's relentless bombing campaign that is unjustifiable and a human rights violation okay a violation of human rights and and just the most immoral thing you can do it's an ethnic cleansing campaign on a population of largely children okay that is unjustifiable, it's inhumane, and it's cruel. So you can't have that conversation on those terms. So what do you do? You go, well, here are some of the supporters of Palestine saying deeply and insanely anti-Semitic things. Okay, what do you want me to say about that? Yeah, that's really fucked up. Does this mean that I should... What's your suggestion? Should I stop defending uh, uh, Palestinian emancipation because some fucking dipshits took over a rally? 
Are, is your goal to say all supporters of Palestinian emancipation also believe that like Jews should burn or whatever? Is that your goal here? Is that what you're trying to say, Sean Hannity? Or are you a fucking charlatan who just simply wants to distract, deflect, and not talk about the real issue at hand? You said Sean and Hannity's doing the exact same thing you said the news would do on leftovers. Exactly. They are doing this deliberately. Because every moment that you talk about this shit is a moment where you're not talking about the actual on-the-ground realities that Palestinians are subjected to. Okay? That's it. For Jewish people, what is happening on our college campuses? What is happening among the Democratic Party? Some Harvard students... It's a way to try to paint a fucking brush on every single person that says Palestinians are human beings and they do not deserve this. They want to paint you with a brush to say you are anti-Semitic. You are anti-Semitic. Are there anti-Semites who uh, join in on these protests? Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. There are. Of course there are. There are anti-Semites everywhere. Okay? Especially in the Western world. But the idea that a few voices being anti-Semitic in a protest immediately uh, immediately means that the, the Palestinian cause is unjust or rooted with an anti-Semitism is fucking psychotic. And it's additionally psychotic for the most anti-Semitic network to put this out there. These motherfuckers do George Soros conspiracies every other week. You think we forgot? You think we don't hear you when you say that uh, Tucker Carlson had the most prominent slot in your news network. You really mean to tell me that you all of a sudden care about anti-Semitism when it's like a, a bunch of fucking idiots at a, at a pro-Palestine protest being anti-Semitic? Really? Really? Now you care about anti-Semitism? Suck my cock. You've never cared about anti-Semitism. It is so disgusting that these guys, for them, it's just like, oh, it's just a talking point. Is a few accurate? Do you deny that basically everybody in Gaza agrees with what Hamas did? What? What does this have to do with people in Gaza? People in Gaza are in a concentration camp. Also, the majority of the people in Gaza that you're talking about are children. Do you think children agree with what Hamas did? Or let's say they did. Do you think they deserve to be fucking shelled and murdered? Go ahead. Explain that to me. Because, like, these aren't even fucking adults okay these are children these are children that were born in a fucking open air prison they've never known a moment of freedom in their entire lives go ahead explain to me why you dropped that little tidbit in there is a few accurate do you really deny that basically everybody in gaza agrees with hamas did if russia if russia launches a nuclear attack on on us should we not launch back because children Brother, if Russia launches a nuclear attack on the U.S., it's over. Everything is over. The world, you know it is over. And quite frankly, I would rather, you know, have that happen than have to entertain these fucking idiotic counterpoints, these idiotic hypotheticals that somehow compare uh, the, the, a group of militants, a group of fundamentalist militants propped up by the Israeli government itself, uh, retaliating in an incredibly violent and unjustifiable way against Israeli civilians to a nation state with a nuclear warhead launching its nuclear warhead in a hypothetical scenario towards the United States of America. You are, you are such a fabulist, okay? You are living in a world of fantasy. Why do you live in a world of fantasy? Because you cannot live in the real world because there is at least some shred of humanity inside of you that I think deep down inside recognizes the humanity of Palestinians and and it makes you feel bad. You want to support Israel, but simultaneously you're like, oh, this like kind of hurts inside of me. So I have to create more and more insane hypotheticals to be able to justify the situation that is in front of me that is unfolding while simultaneously maintaining the positions that I believe. Okay? It's additionally ironic because Israel is a nuclear state. You know, Israel does have nukes, secretly, and never has claimed to have it, but everybody knows is a nuclear state. But that is besides the point. Do you understand? I, I want to believe in your humanity here. I want to believe that internally you have some level of contradiction that you recognize, that on the one hand you understand that dead babies are dead babies no matter which side of the border they're on, and that hurts your feelings. 
but on the other hand, you have a deep rooted fear that like, you know, uh, Hamas is going to come and, and murder you in your sleep. And that's precisely the reason why maybe this kind of retaliation is justifiable. But that poses a, a glimmer of light inside of you. Okay. That means that inside of you, you are still relatively conflicted. You can't meet the issue head on. So you must come up with hypotheticals to justify what's going on. So search deep within yourself that recognizes the humanity of Palestinians and you will arrive at the conclusion that this is completely unjustifiable, completely immoral, completely unacceptable. Okay? There is no world in which it is acceptable to drop white phosphorus on children. Israel has done that. Why don't you go on TV and get, uh, give your opinion on the matter? I think TV would be a better, better megaphone for the cause. Well, I mean, it's not like people are inviting me to go on TV. It's now scrambling to finally rescind their support of their vile letter, actually blaming the victim, Israel, for the brutal Hamas terror attacks. Not everyone disagrees with them. 2024 presidential candidate, former Harvard professor Cornell West said the students were largely right, but they lack nuance. He joins us now with reaction along with attorney. That's so also, funny Harvard that he said that because I don't even think that they lack nuance. Yes, Piers Morgan invited me on his TV show, but he wanted me to do it while I was streaming. And, and I couldn't do it while I was live. So, no, I did not do that. This narrative is so insidious. Oh, they voted for Hamas. Hamas won the last election in 2006. Even they got only a plurality, not a majority. They've ruled as a dictatorship since, refusing to hold elections. This narrative is so insidious. I wouldn't be okay to bomb Gaza if 100% of Palestinians supported Hamas. It also downplays Palestinian support for resistance. They have issues with Hamas when it comes to things like governance, corruption, etc. They support Hamas because it fights Israel. Plus, the polling is just bogus and he's lying about refusing to hold elections. It's the PA and Israel that have kept new elections from happening. Yeah. Like... Even if, even if, uh, for the record, the, the stupid thing is that, like, um, it, the, uh, the, the last election, Hamas won the last election in 2006. It's like, okay, how many people were adults and how many of those people that voted for Hamas were alive, are still alive? How many of the people that are currently being bombed are fucking children, Okay. Is it really true that Hamas would hold elections, but Israel stops them? It's one part of it. Israel collaborating with the Palestinian Authority. And the reality is that this level of violence that Israel has brought upon the Palestinian population has also led the Palestinian population into the only form of armed struggle against the Israeli state, which happens to be Hamas. Okay? It does not matter. There is no world in which, like, full-fledged genocidal actions are justifiable, okay? It is so insane. The entire reason as to why there are people, okay, there are, there are people that, like, believe that, would you say clipped? Clipped what? Starving children is unjustifiable. Starving adults is unjustifiable, Okay, let me take it one step further. Starving the Gaza Strip is unjustifiable. It's just completely and utterly unjustifiable. It is, we're not, we're not in this business to, to fucking uh, talk about like what level of, of genocidal behavior is acceptable and morally permissible by those who are not even involved in this struggle in any capacity from thousands of miles away. Okay. It's, it's just so ridiculous. The real way to end this violence is by shutting off the violence itself. And you have to look at who the root cause, where the violence actually comes from. And oftentimes it's difficult to recognize that because that violence is legal. Well, in the case of Israel, it's also illegal, but we turn a blind eye to that anyway. It's state violence that we are conditioned into thinking is legal. That is the issue. Professor Alan Dershowitz is with us. Thank you both for being with us. I would usually, you always call me Brother Sean, I call you Brother Cornell. I'm not, I'm not that happy with you tonight. I understand. Um, we could talk about why we... Because we have 31 groups from Harvard. Harvard's supposed... Why'd they put Cornell West against, like, the world's best pedophile defender? Like, there's no... I mean, I will never understand why Fox News always has the Dershon. I feel like, like, does the Dersh have some, like... 
uh, holdout blackmail from Jeff from Jeffrey Epstein's house or something on every fucking Fox News executive? Like, why do they always have this freak on for every fucking for for every goddamn uh, uh, for e every single time that like uh, they want to rely on like an outside perspective? They just always go to him. Did he take like Fox News executive blackmail from the Jeffrey Epstein home when they were definitely not having? doing weird shit with sex slaves that Jeffrey Epstein was trafficking? Is that what happened? Used to be, I always thought the, the, the top of the top, to get into Harvard, what, a, what an accomplishment, what an achievement, what, what academic excellence you must show, a, a, a cut above everyone else. And 31 student groups blaming Israel, blaming the victim. And your answer to this is, they are largely right? Hamas? They are. Why are you fucking bullying him? They're 100% right. And he, Cornell West gave, like, the loudest condemnations to, to uh, Palestinians, and he's still getting fucking wrecked because there is no room. There is no room in this world where you can ever side with the Palestinians. There's just no legally permissible, acceptable way to say Palestinians are human beings because that's the ultimate goal here, Okay. The dehumanization campaign must continue because if you say enough is enough, this is fucking ridiculous, you're out of your mind, then you're a bad guy. You're making me feel bad. Fuck you. Why are you bringing this up, you fucking piece of shit? That is the reason why we don't talk about what is going on on the ground and instead talk about what our feelings are about what you said or what he said or what she said. And of course, the inverse of this never happens. When you talk about the tragedy that befall uh, upon Israeli borders on October 7th, no one is talking about like uh, the, the perspective of, of uh, those who, uh, I don't know, no one is, no one is even bringing up the, the, any sort of counters to that, okay? And, and they shouldn't. They, they, like The only thing that you should say in this circumstance is an analysis of how that violence began. And it wasn't in a vacuum, okay? It is ridiculous that uh, it has been four or five days now of, of exclusively uh, championing, like, why Israel's cause of, of uh, genocidal ideation and ethnic cleansing campaign in the Gaza Strip is just it's crazy. That murdered children? Hamas that read, murdered read innocent people? That's to what I said, though, brother. Read okay. That's to what I They said. are largely right... But lacking nuance. No, not, I didn't say lack nuance. That's the title of the piece. Okay. My actual words were, I'll just be very honest. I got I'm it here in front of the me. Words too, but the words were that Israel's policies of war crimes and collective punishment against Palestinians I'll read set it a to context. You. Israel like, I want to make, I want to mention something here, okay? I fucking hate Nazis, and you guys know that already. I also hate the top of the hour ad break. And I don't want you to see the top of the hour ad break, which is why I tell you you can subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. Here's a three-minute ad break now. But anyway, I hate Nazis. You guys know this, okay? But what do I always say? What do I always say? I hate Nazis, but they still deserve health care, okay? They do. We have to treat all human beings with dignity, all right? All human beings deserve dignity. That is how you stomp out reactionary sentiment. That is how you push these reactionary ideologies away. Because people who are comfortable are going to be less likely to be ideologically predisposed to do violence. Okay? Medicare for all means Medicare for all. It doesn't mean Medicare for all except for the people that I don't like. And those same principles apply here. You can show me a thousand fucking protests of, of people being dumbasses when they're, uh, you know, speaking uh, for the emancipation of Palestinian people. That is not going to make me uh, change my perspective. You are not going to be able to make me change my perspective that Israel's human rights abuses are actually justifiable or that the uh, apartheid campaign... Is, is totally morally righteous somehow because some fucking dumbass says some anti-Semitic bullshit at a pro-Palestine rally. That's ridiculous, okay? Ridiculous. I think this is your most liberal take. 
No, this is actually your most liberal take to assume that this is liberal. You want to know why that's your most liberal take to think this is liberal? Because I believe in fixing the material realities of people that makes it infinitely easier to, to squash out any kind of to squash out any kind of reactionary sentiment. Okay? I think it's the most effective way to safeguard against reactionary ideology. You think that's the most liberal take? Liberals are the ones who are like, uh, let's kill everyone in the South. Who gives a shit? They voted for it. That's what liberals say. Yeah, I'll fucking out marks you any day of the week, dude. Don't even come for me like that. Bought, faded you. Thank you for the tank of the subs. They were saying the protests were Hamas sympathizer anti-Semitic before they got the footage of anti-Semitism. My perspective is the same. Okay. It is ridiculous. Should Israeli hospitals refuse medical th uh, treatment to Hamas terrorists? Like, the fact that this is a perspective is so scary. No, man. Of course they should fucking treat Hamas terrorists. What the fuck are we doing? There are rules specifically designed for this, okay? This doesn't make the Hamas terrorists right. What the fuck? Brother... There is no better representation of this than, than looking at the, the individualized acts, acts of violence in the United States of America, okay, in comparison to how, relig how our religious fundamentalists operate, okay? Yeah, we give serial killers and child abusers medical treatment in prison. Well, the problem is we fucking kind of don't in America, which is why Israel and America are so similar in their, like, in their in their dehumanization uh, attitude towards the incarcerated or towards uh, those who have uh, found themselves outside of the boundaries of the law, it is fucking ridiculous. Well, in the United and States, Hamas are must take responsibility for killing innocent people. Anybody who kills innocent people are engaging in barbaric acts. You said no matter Israel, who they are, on, what color, what nation, and so forth. Israel and the United States are primarily And the United States has supported and enabled... You explain to this audience. I want you to explain. How, to how is Israel and the United States responsible for beheading 40 children? How? I'm talking about the context. 545 Palestinian children died in August 2004. Not one American said a word. I believe a Palestinian baby has the same value as an Israeli baby. So when you have that kind of vicious hatred and revenge, you get response of hatred and revenge. They are all wrong. They're all war crimes. They're all to be condemned. It's like, dude, the question to, to pose to Sean is like, what do you think happens to a Palestinian baby when a fucking Israeli munition is dumped on their on their house or the hospital, you know what I mean? You think the baby's head is intact? Like, what 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 happens? Like, is that is that the the method of execution? That's the that's the problem here. Like, what's going on? What are you fucking nuts? Nobody out here is saying it's cool to decapitate uh, babies. Okay, like that's kind of half of the argument against Israel is literally this. Okay. Like, well, what are you doing? Are you saying that Israel is engaging in the most humane way of executing babies versus Hamas engaged in a non-humane, barbaric way of executing babies? It's so fucking dumb. No, everybody wants the baby killing to stop, okay? That's kind of the point. Except the difference is we know. We know that, that Republicans have never given a, sh given a shit about uh, baby executions. Let's be fucking really real. Let's be for fucking real, okay? But you cannot simply look at this particular moment without... Republicans be like, it's really fucked up uh, how, uh, you know, babies die when they should actually uh, be, be forcibly carried to term so they can live a life of, like, poverty and, and, and fucking... Uh, uh, awful, monstrous conditions that we subject to them so that inevitably, if they make it to 18, they can become soldiers and go fucking die somewhere so that a Raytheon executive can can uh, uh, talk about how their, their quarterly returns are better. That's what we need to do with our babies, okay? Fucking sick. At the larger backdrop of an ugly occupation and the ugly attacks chronically against Palestinians. Those I are want to not give my your point. words. Largely right. Israel and the United States are primarily responsible it, for this. 100%. It's, it's true. It's correct.
It's correct. It's just these guys are are hopped up on fucking nuclear levels of copium, I think, to be like, oh, well, how, how is this our fault? It's like, bitch, yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. The most popular Jewish politician in the world has his event boycotted by German politician Saskia Eske because he's not pro-Israel enough. So suff insufferably on brand. I had to write about it last night. Whoa. It's going crazy out there. Government polls just released a proclamation denouncing anti-Semitism, not a single mention of Palestine. It's just like a very cowardly way to try and, and dance around the issue. This attack, Professor Dershowitz. Well, I complained when Palestinian children were killed, but I explained why they were killed. Here is one of the leaders of Hamas. For the Palestinian people, death has become an industry. The elderly excel at this, and so do the children. This is why we have formed... Who's killing them? Who's killing them? Who's killing them? Who's killing the children? Who, who's who's doing it, Dersh? I love that. Once again, it's just like it's the classic. It's the classic propaganda. It's like, oh, we had no other option but to kill these children. You know what I mean? Hamas keeps keeps putting the children in the way of our bullets. It's like, bro, you're shooting them. Like, what what do you mean? You're bombing them? Oh, it's a it's a human shield. It's a human shield. It is such a disgusting thing to fucking keep repeating. But I guess if you repeat a lie long enough, it becomes the truth, right? Human shields of the women and the children. Hamas is the ones responsible for the killing of Palestinian children. Also bro, 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 bro. If, if you are shooting someone, okay, if you are shooting someone, you can't turn around and be like, man, it's really fucked up how you, you made me shoot this baby, okay? And before people go, Hassan, isn't that what you're saying about Hamas? Isn't that what you're saying about Hamas in this circumstance? The violent retaliation from people that have been locked in a fucking prison their whole goddamn lives is not the same as the most militarized state purposely enacting a policy of vengeance, a policy of vengeance that has been ongoing, that has caused this violent retaliation to begin with, okay? This is why the story is fucking insane, especially when there's a different way out of that. So the Hamas has a term. It's called the CNN strategy. And the CNN strategy is induce Israel into killing Palestinian children. I'm sorry, man. That's nuts. That's nuts. That's nuts. That's insane. Like, he, he's saying it. Like, he's openly saying it. Like, we're inducing Israel into killing children so CNN can cover it is such a fucking psychotic thing. He's saying telegenically dead babies, but like in a longer way. By using them as human shields, then parade the bodies out on CNN and you'll see what happens. People like Cornell West will engage in crocodile tears, blame it on Israel when the entire tears, blame is on the Palestinians, Hamas, for using their children, their children as human no, shields and then using their children. Like us, us blowing up the children, we're totally, totally in the right here. Them putting the children in the way of our bombs, it's really fucked up. It's really fucked up. Yeah, unless he believes that like Hamas has like some kind of mental control over the uh, IDF soldiers. I don't know what the fuck he means by this. <laughs> this is such a rapist talking point, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Children as shields but, but, to but, permit... But what is I, I, look, if I'm the Dersh, I'm not saying children, children, children over and over again. Yeah. He's like, you see, you don't understand. He's like, you don't understand, okay? Your honor. When I was hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein 157 times, okay? It was Hamas that was responsible for me and my actions in that moment. I was induced into, you know, doing illegal things allegedly with possibly children. It was the it was the the Hamas human shields again, you know? It's just how it is. What is Hamas's charter? Yeah. I have the same. So uh, to, the question I have, the question I have for the Dersh is when you wrote that article about how like the age of consent should be lowered constitutionally. Okay. From a constitutional perspective, simply talking constitutionally, was that also Hamas? Did Hamas induce you to write that article about how the age of consent should be lowered in America? Constitutionally speaking, is that what happened? This man will not protect children in any circumstance after that trial. Yeah, the, we know, like, it, it, is, it is truly, truly the peak of irony when you have a guy who is literally, like, world-renowned for not protecting children.
okay? Like, this man is so bad at protecting children, he has made a wonderful legal career out of uh, defending child diddlers and befriending child diddlers, okay? Really? That's the only guy you can find to defend, uh, the, <laughs> defend the argument? That Israel is is uh, defending children by blowing them up, but Hamas keeps putting the children in the... <laughs> Hamas is doing the bodies in spaces by putting the children in front of the bullets, in front of the fucking bombs. So stupid. Outrage when Palestinian babies are killed, when it Jewish babies be are Israeli babies. Outrage. I want you to have the same indignation oh, when Palestinians are killed. Not when they're, killed, not when they're killed by Palestinians. When the, you can't make a... Bro, <laughs> Oh, oh, this is the this is the fucking victims of communism technique okay it's like everyone that dies both inside of israel proper and outside of of uh you know historic palestine they all died due to hamas 1948 nakba palestinians were being fucking raped and, and murdered in their villages and forcibly expelled that was hamas it was a premeditative attack against hamas that we knew was going to be uh, developed and propped up. Literally just a black on black crime excuse. I hate the dirt so much. No, it's worse than that. No, it, it's even <laughs> it's even worse than that because the black on black uh, violence one is just a simply a simple method of of deflection. Th this would be like saying no, the police actually have to be really violent because black people want to kill the cops and and the the violent black people are are causing a situation where the cops have to kill all black people. Black on black violence is simply to say, huh, you don't care about black death. You never cover when black uh, black people kill other black people. You know, what about that? That is a whataboutism. Okay? His is worse. The Moral comparison. When Nazi kids were killed in the bombings of Dresden, I didn't have the same comparison when Jewish kids were put in gas chambers and crematoriums. You're a professor of theology. Wait, why does... The Bro, it's so odd to use Dresden. Like, there are so many other more viable arguments to make. Like, I just, it's so odd. He just said Nazi children. Like, what the fuck? Why, why am I hearing Dresden so much? Yeah, why do they keep mentioning Dresden, the only allied bombing campaign that's questioned to this day? Because, like, I just, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't understand it. Like, dude. Does he think that Hamas is like operating concentration camps or something like systematically uh, against Israeli people? Like, what the fuck is this talking point? Like, here's the thing. OK, here's the thing. If I have uh, ghettoized uh, an entire population of people whose land I've taken to create living space for myself. OK. And then on the other hand, created an open air prison or a concentration camp that I routinely bomb. OK. Uh, on the other side of the uh, of the equation. Like, I wouldn't be making Nazi comparisons so fucking willingly, you know what I mean? So openly. It's just very odd that... But I guess I guess it works. It sticks because, like, they also literally say that uh, Palestinians are like Russians in this situation. Gee, don't you understand the moral difference I, between uh, deliberately murdering a kid and having collateral damage because there are human shields. You're running for president of the United States. What would you do? Oh, if, you wait, wait, wait. Let me tell I'll you. Tell let me you ask the question. Do. Let me ask the question. Okay. What would you do if they were firing, if terrorists were firing at American children in America and the terrorists were hiding behind Palestinian children? Would you allow... Bad take us on. Our enemies have always used human shields. The Japanese military used the civilians of Hiroshima and Nagasaki of human sh as human shields, so we had to nuke them. Yeah. It always feels like uh, whoever our enemies are, no matter what kind of fucking, what kind of devastation we bring upon their, their uh, civilian population is just, you know? Allow the killing of Americans to continue, or would you go and get the terrorists, even if it meant possibly collateral damage on Palestinians? What would you do? I'll tell you exactly what I would do. First, truth and morality tend to be two casualties in any context of war. I would want to tell the American people the truth. I would tell them what the context is, how we found ourselves in this situation. I would not jump for a military what, what invasion. Yeah, this is a great uh, this is a great question that people always ask like what do you do after 9/11? Literally the opposite of what we did. And I stand by that and and I am 100% correct. We are living in the rubbles that we have caused in the post 9/11 universe. Okay? What would you do after 9-11? Not whatever we did, okay? It's not violent retaliation. Not. The world would be objectively a better place 
if we never invaded Afghanistan and we never invaded Iraq after 9-11, okay? And the irony of the the 9-11 analogies is also so apt in many ways because, like, like you're going and and attacking random people that had nothing to do with the the attack, just like in 9-11, okay? Just like in 9-11, like, you isolate the perpetrators, okay? We know who did it. It's fucking ridiculous. You mean to tell me that the Gaza Strip is the most surveilled place on the fucking planet, okay? The most surveilled place on the fucking planet, and you just happen to kill all of these little babies in Palestine and in the Gaza Strip, like, on accident, like a oopsie, but then you have to, you have to say, no, it's actually a human shield, you can't find where the people are that perpetrated this act of terror and like uh, do do some kind of targeted strike. No, you can't. You don't want to do that because that's not the goal. You want Hamas to exist so you can justify the ethnic cleansing campaign. And to be fair, that is what you know Netanyahu has openly mentioned time and time again. It's not like it's you know it's a it's a gift and a genocidal attack on a, a genocidal attack on Gaza. No, no. You, it's you, not about a genocidal where are they attack supposed to go? when you're where killing are they supposed terrorists. To go? Now, this is like Warsaw, 1943. Where do they go? Where do they go? Yes. Let me tell you where they go. Do they where go to the UN? UN, UN is keeping from Gaza them. to they Geneva? Go, they go to... No, no, no. The UN has places in Gaza. They go to the Rafa crossing. The UN people have they, been killed they, in the last few they days. Go, they go to Egypt... They go. Egypt had to wait a minute. Get out. Let Come me on, make brother. another thing clear. No, no, Gaza no, no. City is very dense, Absolutely. but Gaza it itself, dense. the Gaza Strip, there's lots of room. The Israelis have said, "Get out of Gaza City. Go to Rafah. Go to uh, Khan Yunis. Go to other places." And you know what Hamas With is no saying? No water, no wait food, a minute. no electricity. You know what Hamas is dark? saying? Hamas is saying, "Don't go." Oh, I'm, I'm not Don't here to defend go. Hamas. Well, you are. No, I'm not defending oh. Hamas. Yeah, dude, it's like, okay, well, if you know that, why don't you just stop bombing? Like, okay, do a ground invasion. But you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that because you don't want to lose IDF lives. You want to keep fucking lobbing missiles at babies from hundreds of miles away. Okay, that's it. That's it. It's fucking bullshit. Okay, you can't, you can't do that. You can't take it. You can't take it to the fucking people that are the perpetrators because you're cowardly. Okay, that's it. That's literally it. And it's not even cowardice, at le actually, it's malice. It's like, it's bloodthirst. Because the goal isn't to necessarily, uh, uh, to, to, you know, uh, to, to cut the fucking head of the snake, per se. Not. It's the continuation of the radicalization of a Palestinian people that have been endlessly bombed and destroyed and, and, and humiliated. Mom, Wait a don't minute. you ever lie on me Did like you that, brother? Ever I'm defending the suffering and the, and the, of, of Palestinians I wanna and, hear and, how, and Hamas itself I, I committing hear, war crimes. I want to hear you Anybody say... Who you say now explain Turkey and the Kurds as though it's like a good fucking uh, uh, talking point against me because, like, why do you think Turkish people are up my asshole for, the, like, the past fucking week saying that I should be killed and I'm a dick licker of the Kurds and a dick licker of the fucking Armenians and a dick licker of the Arabs? The fuck are you talking about? If only inside of your silly ass mind, you at least like had the wherewithal to comprehend. No, it's just a talking point for you. Okay. Uh, that's all you got. Alan Miller time. That's all you got. Oh, what about this? What about that? Hey, dumbass. I don't know. Maybe try to figure out where the fuck I'm coming from. Okay. Thanks. Hey, you're welcome. Shithead. You, you did it. You did a good job. You think? Did this illuminate you a little bit? Did you, did you, do you have a newfound perspective now? Or do you feel silly because you couldn't get this across, like you couldn't get this own across because you don't give a shit about anything? Commits war crimes are barbaric. I, I'm saying that explicitly, but I, I want I, you I, to say if the Israeli Defense Forces are killing children, no, no. are they barbaric too? No, no, are they, no, are they ever no, barbaric? No, no, no. If they target, no. if they target children, yes. Uh, have they I, ever targeted no, children? No, absolutely, never, ever, never, in, 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 never in, in, in the in history. Years. Years. Have they ever targeted oh, brother, a child? You got to get off the crack pipe, and, and, man. And please, no, no, they please. have never targeted a child. think they kill one innocent person? Not purposely. Since 1948, not, not. Are they that pure? Are they that? You don't have to be. Very Come pure, on, not to kill Please. a child, not to kill oh. a child. Let me let they me kill 550 let me, and 50 let me show because something. they're being used as human shields. Let me show something. We we on this. Yeah, this is a ridiculous fucking conversation to have. I'm sorry, and not gonna lie, it's a it's a little disappointing to hear Cornell was not be able to turn around and be like in 2018 when there was a peaceful march to return. 
the the IDF snipers very deliberately and very purposely fucking targeted children that they shot, and which the IDF openly stated uh, they knew exactly who the fuck they were shooting at. Every single bullet was accounted for. That alone is enough to just like end that conversation. Okay, like. That is one of many different instances where Israel has purposely targeted children. Alan Dershowitz's response in and of itself is already an admission that they target children. And it's just he has a description for it, okay? The question to pose in this circumstance is this. Both of these people are coming to the table with the recognition that, yes, Israel has targeted children. Is it morally justifiable, Okay. And he thinks it's morally just and it's justifiable because these children are human shields. That's it. The problem is pro-Palestinian side doesn't have clever responders. No, that's, that's not true. There are plenty of incredibly thoughtful and incredibly smart individuals. Cornell West is an incredibly thoughtful and smart person himself. Is the human shields thing even substantiated? You cannot substantiate fascist propaganda. That is insane. What are you talking about? Brother, it's not substantiated. You want to know why? Because... How the fuck can you substantiate that? Is there a morally permissible moment where you shoot through the fucking hostage in a hostage situation? No. Then that's ridiculous. They don't even do it in fucking movies. The human shields argument is a way to like, uh, to, to, to engage in, um, what's the word? Abdication, like moral abdication to absolve yourself of, of the immoral act of killing children. And it's, it's a lie that you tell yourself probably to feel more comfortable at night when you go to sleep and it's a lie that you tell the rest of the world, so they also fucking, I guess, believe it. And the only way that it would work, the only way that it would ever work is if your enemy is so perfectly and ritualistically dehumanized that nobody even thinks about them, and it's considered an afterthought. And unfortunately, due to deliberate propaganda for years and years and years, both uh, propaganda from the Israeli state, but also way more significantly than that, Propaganda from the United States government in an effort to justify its endless blood and soil war on terror. We do not see Muslims, Arabs as human. We do not see them as human. Okay? Maybe we see them as neighbors sometimes, but we do not see them as human when they're overseas. The program last night. On this. What I'm about to show no. this audience, these are cartoons that are air in Gaza for young children that are taught to hate the Jewish people. You know, just, just watch this for a second, and I'll have you both comment. Watch that. You know what's funny about this? Half the time, this is like also a completely fucking uh, uh, mistranslated nonsense. Okay, brother, let's say this is real. This is 100% real. This is like what they're teaching children, okay? Are you trying to find a justification for murdering the kids now? Is that what you're saying? Is it, if I find uh, Israeli TV shows where they're fucking dehumanizing Arabs, then is the, is the Hamas justification uh, fine then? Like, is that the argument here? It's like po me pointing to the, the um, it's like me pointing to that, that settler guy on TikTok who's making fun of, uh, Palestinians who don't have fucking water and being like, this is why it's fine to kill Israeli citizens. It's not. That is an insane argument to make. The only way that that works, the only way that this argument works, okay, is if you do not, you do not think that those children are, are human beings. Like, you don't think that they're human. You think that they're something different. This is what they're telling kids in Gaza, the people that want not you teaching five-year-olds? Yeah, exactly. I guess we can just do a permanent first world genocide, J.D. Pond style, because, like, you know, in America, they're watching fucking Prager U videos and shit. Wait, okay, this is not even propaganda. This is, like, literally what happened. Okay, wait, I'm so I thought they were going to have something better than this. What the fuck? This is like saying if you fucking watch a documentary of what befalls uh, the children of Palestine, then, you know, it's really fucked up. They shouldn't watch that documentary. Yeah, okay. What, what, 
I thought they were going to do something worse than that. I've seen the mistranslations. Uh, there's some laughable ones, like the UNRWAs, like the in the UN schools, they're teaching Palestinian children to hate the Jews, right? Like that, that shit was going around all over Twitter. And it's directly mistranslated, okay? And you don't need to learn the language of your fucking enemy anyway because he's a beast, right? He's not a fucking real human, so you can just make propaganda whichever way you want. Kids are literally being like, Israel is killing us. And then the translation is like, I want to join ISIS. And even if even if a fucking five-year-old said he wants to join ISIS, then is that okay to fucking end his life? Like, what the fuck are we doing? Do we think, do we think it's okay for a five-year-old in Israel to say, I want to join the IDF because I want to kill Palestinians? Then is it justifiable to fucking end that child's life? No. So shut the fuck up. What... What argument is this? This argument, once again, only works if you do not think Palestinians are humans, okay? Do not ever concede on any of these fucking points. That's it. Professor West, yes. if you brainwash and indoctrinate... So now you defend ISIS? Really? That's what your takeaway was from that? That's what your takeaway is. Your takeaway is, is that, like, you, you legitimately are saying... That me saying a five-year-old should not be fucking murdered because a five-year-old doesn't know what he is saying when he says anything, including joining fucking ISIS, okay? It is since you defend every terrorist org on the planet. I did not defend the IDF one time on this, on this broadcast. It is silly of you to say that. I did not defend the American military. I did not defend the IDF. That is silly of you to, to, to make this assertion, okay? No, that's not a meme. It's how, it's how stupid you have to be to, to try to make these arguments, okay? <laughs> but I love you, Chatter. One day I hope you will uh, be a little bit more intelligent, a little bit more empathetic, okay? Regardless of, the, of your, your mental state being stuck uh, like a, like a five-year-old, I still believe that you should have a good life, okay? Hey, young children, that you're teaching them to hate from that young age. Not good. <laughs> No. Here's the problem. Any with, kind of here's the problem of with, hatred with is your, immoral and wrong. Here's the problem I, I have with your brothers peace. and others. If there's any hatred of anybody, we're, we're, chat on a journey. Thank you for the fifty gifted subs. Palestinians. Would, would you wrong condemn too? Black Lives Matter Chicago for justifying the Hamas murder? We've. What are we talking about? We've moved on. We've moved on to the, like it, it just. You are. You have. You have just completely moved on from uh, again trying to defend the position that like it's it's we have to kill children because they believe in like uh, violent stuff okay by using these little airplane things and coming down on the uh music event but i, I, I want to hear I, I would certainly condemn it you I condemn black condemn, lives matter i would condemn anybody okay it's not a matter of i'm glad to hear you this is yeah this is ridiculous dude don't fucking don't 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 get tricked into this, Dr. Cornell Wes. You're a fucking whole ass doctor. What are you doing? Morality and spirituality. Wow, dude. I found a fucking Instagram account that said, like, it's actually good to kill children. So now I have, like, think about, the, think about the conversation that took place in the eight minutes and 50 seconds right now. He said it's okay to kill children when they are my enemies, okay? And then he is now turning around and saying this random Instagram account uh, made light of, of, you know, children on my side being fucking murdered, which you have condemned time and time again, will you now condemn an entire movement? Will you now condemn an entire movement? How unproductive has, has this conversation been? Okay? Hey, I saw this tweet. It had, like, two likes. Hey, I saw this tweet. It had 10,000 likes. Fuck two likes. 100,000 likes. That's a tweet, brother. You talk about the Hezbollah situation later. Lebanon is broke. Reality, okay, no so you condemn Black Lives part, Matter. Part of our challenge, though, and this is... This is hey, look at this. He, he, he's, he's sneaking that in. He's like, so you condemn Black Lives Matter. Important just as, as a leader, you see. He asked me what I would do. I would say we've got the in occupation. we got to this make sure to that Palestinians have the same dignity, the same... I hated watching this. This hurt my fucking soul, dude. I mean, holy moly.